Studying medicine for me was not an easy or natural decision. There were no physicians in my family. At the time that I decided, I thought that it was a good balance between a good profession, a good intellectual pursuit, um, a nice honorable thing for a good Jewish boy. The field that I've been privileged to specialize in is a field known as functional and stereotactic neurosurgery. It's dedicated to improving the quality of life for patients with a variety of neurological diseases. And the procedures that we can now do for these patients turn the clock back those years and give them back quality of life they remember from before their disease started very often. Five years ago, we discovered that our daughter Talia is suffering from dystonia. Up until almost a year ago, her condition has been stabilized by medication and she led a normal life. The type of dystonia that she has, which is an abnormal movement disorder uh, due to abnormal contraction of muscles, mainly in her legs, is uh, a genetic form uh, of dystonia, which is particularly prevalent in Ashkenazi Jews. It was devastating for us as parents to have two children afflicted with this rare disease. When I was about 13, I started to limp a bit, but I didn't pay much attention to it. We did some tests and discovered that I have dystonia. Then we started treatment and medication and the situation was stable for about five years. I limped a little. It was hard to stand for long, but this was my reality and I accepted it. Talia had managed to finish uh, school and uh, was doing pretty well, but she wanted to continue and do uh, national service, what we call Shirut Lumi, and um, she wanted to be right before she started that. Gradually, things became more difficult for me and more painful until I reached the stage when I could barely leave the house and only in a wheelchair. Even in the house, I remember I would go downstairs and think, how am I going to get upstairs? So it got to the stage that we had to find another solution. She knew about the surgery when she, when she came to consult and she wanted to know if she was a good candidate. And after we examined her and uh, evaluated her and made sure that she and her parents understood what, what it is that we're talking about, we agreed that she was an appropriate candidate for surgery. When they told us that the operation was the only option that would allow her quality of life, it was not easy for Talia. And as a father, I was about to hand over my 19-year-old daughter for an operation, with all that this involves. It is very frightening to think that they are going to drill a hole in your daughter's head and insert a device there. You have to take chances, and I wasn't ready to accept the fact that I would have to be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life and wouldn't be able to do things that I like to do. Two or three years ago, we would have had to go abroad for a solution, and we would have gone anywhere in the world. But we were thankful that we could now do this at Hadassah, in Jerusalem, a hundred miles from our home in the north. What we do in this surgery is implant a very slender electrode deep inside the brain in a very specific place. It sounds horrific. Actually, the patient is awake when we do this. If the nucleus inside the brain is overactive, the pulse that this um, pacemaker gives through the electrode overrides that activity and jams the signal so that the nucleus is no longer giving this pathological, this abnormal signal to other parts of the brain. And when this signal is cut off electrically from the pulse, the other parts of the brain can function more normally. Talia told us, okay, let's do it. She was a wonderful surgical candidate. She listened to her iPod all the way through surgery, except when we needed to ask her questions. She even asked to change the battery in the middle. And um, she's done actually extremely well. About two weeks after the operation, I was able to walk, though I kept the wheelchair near me just in case. It was amazing. People are still amazed when they see me. We know how to do these techniques. We've become very good at them, and we can provide a very good outcome. The women of Adassa, it's amazing that people want to help so much and to do so much, and they do it on an ongoing basis throughout the years. I anticipate that, uh, and that Talia will lead an entirely normal life. We're just one small example, but in our case, you saved our family. We are more happy and hopeful, and as for Talia, 
It's a new world. For me, it's been a very great privilege to work with uh, these patients. Um, I think it's a privilege that they trust me. Um, I think it's a privilege to be part of a mechanism which can improve quality of life, sometimes so dramatically. It's a new start for me. My life looks different. There is no doubt about it. It's fun. 